Welcome to this video about Simple FOC Generator. This is a static open source website that I made to help the Simple FOC community in a never ending quest to make field oriented control simple to use for everyone. Here in the title there are two links, this one and this one. This one goes to the GitHub page and this one goes to my YouTube channel. You can also click any of these questions to go to the Simple FOC docs to the right topic. Now I'm going to give an example how you can use this. I have a BLDC motor with seven pole pairs. I'm going to give it a voltage limit of three. This is in braces, so that means that it's an optional input. Here you can select the driver type, so you can select three PWM or six, or you can select the board that you have. I have this one, so for example, with pin seven, eight, and nine, and you enable pin six. You can select the power supply voltage, for example, 15 volts. Here you can select the angle of position sensor that you're using. So I'm using a magnetic encoder and it's an AS5600. Here you can select the type of current sensing. You can select inline or low side or the board that you have. For example, A0 and A2. Here you can select the type of motion controller that you want to use. So you can choose torque, velocity, or angle, position. Here you can enter the PID values. I'm not going to do that right now. Here you can select the type of torque controller that you want to use. So this one is based on voltage, this one is based on DC current, and this one is based on FOC current. You can also select the type of FOC modulation that you want to use. I want to use space vector modulation and I want to use the commander interface. And now here you can see the code that is automatically generated by my program. Here you can see that it uses the correct pins that you entered above. With this button, you can copy the code. As you can see, now you can paste it in your Arduino IDE, upload it to your microcontroller and start using simple FOC. Here you can leave a suggestion or a mistake that you found and send it to me. And that was it for this video. If there are any questions, you can ask them in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.